Hello everybody, my name is Luke and in today's video I'll be showing you guys a few simple tips and tricks to use when designing modern homes on Minecraft. Now I'm going to show you guys a bedroom that I made using a few of these tips and tricks and these tips and tricks are actually from professional architects. No, I am not a professional architect by any means, but I did a lot of research, so these are a few tips and tricks that I learned along the way. The first part of the video I'll be showing you guys the room, and the second part I'll be showing you guys the thought process that went behind actually designing everything, including the tips and tricks. So stay tuned for those. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a peek inside. Stepping into the room, the first thing you're really struck by, in my opinion, is the right side of the room. Now, this is intentional, I'll go over it again later on, but... The first thing you're really struck by is the right side of the room, and that being the bed, um, you know, the flower, and the paintings especially. So walking in, you see that strike of color along with the bed. Now, I decided to keep this bed very minimal. Um, I've seen a lot of bed designs on YouTube for like, um, like modern beds, and honestly, they're kinda- I, I'm just not a huge fan. Um, over here we have a little vanity setup, and over here we have a bookshelf, um, a few things that I noticed building this is that this is really um, barren, this wall, which we're going to solve that later on. But this is basically the room that I have set up here. Um, I put a music disc as like a different form of decoration. You don't really see that using this, um, where is it, glow item frame. So it adds like a d pop of color versus a standard item frame, um, if I were to just swap it with that you can kind of see you know the pop of color is definitely there so that's the room um bookshelf over here pretty standard bookshelf it's obviously not usable but something really cool obviously the bed is usable you can see that your vanity actually has storage which is a really nice feature obviously if you're building this in creative which i'd assume you are um you know you really don't need that functionality you don't need the functionality in the bed either obviously but it's kind of a nice to have extra points if you get it. Now that I've shown you guys the room, I'm going to show you guys the thought process that went into it. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, when you walk in, you instantly gravitate towards the right side of the room. Now this is entirely intentional. And there are a few reasons why this happens. The first being a lopsided plant. I know it's a very, very subtle thing, but it pushes you more to the right. Second being um, the paintings. Obviously, they're on the right side but it almost forms like an arrow in that sense. You see the, the flower, the painting, the painting. Now, this is entirely intentional, and the whole concept of less is more to um, really apply this here. Because, you know, I could have added a ton more on this end of the wall, and all that would have done is prevent that flow from happening. A few other minor things do this, such as the carpet, which I really added just for the pop of color. Um, obviously, gray and white, very modern colors you see that a lot in modern designs however just gray and white is a horrible horrible idea you really need to have a pop of color that's why um there's this painting oh i didn't think i was close enough to break it but that's why there's this painting here and then there's this painting here now this painting gray and white very classic modern colors this painting a bit of color and just looking at the painting the first thing i noticed is like the reds in it red being a very dominant color in the color wheel um, so I decided, you know, red looks good, in my opinion, with the rest of the room. Now the biggest reason why the room flows this way is because of the lighting. You notice here, especially at midnight. Now, if I were to set this to day, that is not day, jeez. Alright, if I were to set this to day, notice here, there's a bit less flow going on. And that's because of the lighting going through the windows versus at midnight what I had on at the beginning you can see this side of the room it's a lot brighter which naturally gravitates your eyes more towards this and due to the lighting you can also see the um the side of the vanity and also the um this is like a minor accent wall actually has like this little um this little like effect due to the lighting in minecraft which causes them to kind of flow that way as well which is rather nice. One thing that I forgot to mention is accent walls. Now, accent walls are really critical in um, home design. And you can kind of see when you walk in, I have two accent walls going. I have this one, which is a gray. And what that does is when you walk in, you instantly like cancel this out of your vision. I don't know how to describe it. That's like the best way I can think of. Um, 
you inst when you walk in, your eyes don't gravitate here, they gravitate here. That's critical. And also, you see the accent wall back there. In my opinion, accent walls are best placed when they're like on the opposite wall um, of the entrance. Now, this isn't always true. Obviously, there are exceptions, but in my opinion, my personal opinion, um, accent walls on the opposite side have the best effect. Now, I do see a lot of accent walls placed um, beds, like on the bed wall. So, like, the accent wall would be here versus here. But in my opinion, walking in and seeing an accent wall really helps, like, add texture to the room and adds that, like, walk-in impression that is more than just white on gray. Now, back to the lighting. Um, it's a very, very, very critical part of the room. Um, I'd say lighting is single-handedly the best way to add flow to your rooms and add that whole sense of like gravitating your eyes towards a, sp a specific point. The way this lighting is accomplished is through these um, end rods and also underneath the carpet. I don't think this doesn't actually add warm lighting. Like I wish it did like a warmer tone because the redstone lamps have like this orange. I wish it add the, like a warmer hue because what I'm really going for here is like a warmer aesthetic given it's a bedroom and also the red really helps add the warmth versus um you know something like a cooler aesthetic which would be more like a kitchen not a living room just stuff that stuff that screams warmth I guess but anyways the lighting it really helps gravitate your eye to this end of the room and like I said if we set it back today we set it back today the lighting isn't as effective which causes your eyes to kind of not gravitate there as much now a massive part of modern design is that less is more and that's why you know i was experimenting with a lot I was, I was experimenting with like basic drapes and blinds for the windows i was experimenting with like shelving here stuff like that but the at the end of the day if you don't need to add something to have the same amount of like like flow in your room then you really shouldn't do it so looking at this you know, we only have three items of furniture. We only have three things on the wall. We have one thing on the vanity. Um, and yet we still have a very, very like cozy looking room. Now the coziness can also be amplified by going into your settings and lowering your FOV. See, I have mine at 110, that's what I play at because I'm a bit of a, a survival sweat. You know, I like having that high FOV. But tuning it down to like 90, for instance, already makes the room feel a bit smaller. Now, this is something that you should change on your own, depending on how you want your room to look. If you want like a more cozier um, like setting, I'd say lower your FOV down to 90. But if you want like a more open room feel, crank it up to 110 or however high you want to set it. Now, me personally, I always strive for like a larger looking room. Even though there's not a whole ton going on here, I like having that big roomy feel that there's like a lot of like room to move around in. I know that's really, really good in real life. Obviously, it's not as important in Minecraft, but it's still something to consider when you're planning your room. And on that topic, raised ceilings are a must. You can't just have a, a three height or a, yeah, a three block tall ceiling for your height. It's a horrible idea. And also bit of a change adds to the the um, flow of the room like I was mentioning before is this this change in height obviously um not obviously automatically when you walk in you gravitate towards the like roomiest part of the room if that makes sense and having this raised height makes the, this side of the room automatically feel like larger and more roomier now in modern architecture a huge role is the color selection so obviously I have red, I have white, and I have gray. Now your gray and your white are like your two primary colors, um, as in like they conflict with each other. I don't know if that's the definition of primary colors, I'm not a color expert, but your gray and your white are your two like major conflicting colors. The brown, it adds rum like warmth, like I was mentioning earlier, warmth to the room, and as does the red. The red is like your pop of color, it's absolutely critical to have some sort of color pop or else your room looks very, very dull. Now, as you can see, I used the gray in this room as kind of like, like a mute type of thing. You know, I, I don't know how to describe these things, but 
the gray it's essentially like pushing your eyes that way like i mentioned earlier um so it's more of like it's a blank space you know this is where everything's happening there's nothing happening here you really don't need to look here but we're gonna look here for a sec i want to show you guys how i did this um like seamless flow between the gray and the white it's a really cool technique i also use it over here in this case it's white to make it um like a bit a bit nicer looking i'll also show you guys how i did this with the barrel top now to start the gray on this end it's literally just done through a map now over here this is a like a whole map worth of blocks you can just do this using slash fill and what you do you take an empty map right here you create the map and as you can see the entire thing goes gray now just head back over here take an item frame just like this pop it on the wall just like that and then you have like a little a little block almost now if you look over here you kind of have like the item frame outline which in my opinion kind of looks nice especially over um especially over here on the vanity it has like a different like texture to the sides which in my opinion looks kind of cool now over here doesn't look as cool in my opinion but it's kind of like the price you have to pay to be designing this stuff in minecraft because there really aren't any other ways to do this without having this like seam i guess is the best way to describe it now one last thing i want to mention real quick is you should always try to hide your like i don't know the things that you don't like as much um, away from the perspective of someone walking in or just someone like going around the room because if you walk in here and you look straight up you notice that there's an like a wonky looking like end rod and that there's just one little placement here versus this entire row being all like uniform i don't know how to describe it but this looks ugly if i could have a row of all just this it would look nice but having this little spot on the end kind of like i don't i just don't like it it doesn't look good so you know what you do you hide it when you walk in you're never gonna see that you just see your uniform ender ads going all the way down and you'll never be able to see this so you know it's kind of nice and then also i'm not a huge fan of this bookshelf i just included it as like a way to fill in the space over here so i didn't want to like leave this entire area blank which i'm gonna get to this area later but when i walked when i went in this was the last thing that I built because in my opinion it's kind of like a throwaway thing you know it's kind of nice to have a bookshelf in your room but at the same time if it's like ugly looking which in my opinion the books are kind of draining to the room you want to hide it also I included the gray on the sides as a way to add more mute space to the room so when you walk in you don't look over here as much you don't look over here you look more back here flow 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 whoops it really just all adds together and generates a nice looking room. All right, now the last thing that we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna add a piece of furniture here and go through my thought process behind why I'm putting things the way I am in order to kind of help you guys when you're kind of freestyling your own rooms in Minecraft. Now, before I even start building, I wanna consider the color palette. Obviously, since we have a lot of red here, I don't want to put red here or else you might have your eyes start to gravitate more in this direction, which isn't a good thing considering the flow thing that I've been mentioning over and over again. So you really don't want to add something that's like really colorful here or else it's going to completely ruin your flow. Because of this, I'm really looking to add like a gray, a white um, type of thing, maybe a vanity without the, um, the tulip. I think that's what it is that might look good um i really want to do something that's just here versus here or like even all the way down because in my opinion all, all of that would be way too much i feel like this is the best option after a bit of thinking i decided that vanity would look best here and that's for a few reasons one because i really like this vanity design i want to show you guys how to build it two because it'll fill up this area just fine um we just need to downscale this by one block which is a very easy thing to do and third because having this white here and this gray on both sides helps this this um side of the room look a bit better because you know it's kind of i don't know how to describe it it's kind of like gray white gray i guess 
Now one thing that you may notice is that we have a gap of two blocks here and a gap of three blocks here. Now this is something to kind of consider, however the more important gap we're looking at is the gap between the two windows, and that being right here. If we were to make the gaps even, like the lower gaps here, and have two and two, just take a look at that. That looks horrible. That looks really bad, in my opinion. Of course, it's all subjective, but in my opinion, the windows are the more important things to look for. Now, with all that considered, let's build this thing right here. I'll show you guys how to do this and how to get this cool looking barrel design. Now take a look at the barrel texture here, or just place it like this. You see we have the sides being all like, I don't know, gray and brown. <laughs> and then at the top we have like this little like hole, which in my opinion is kind of ugly and will look horrible in this case. Now one texture that you did not see there was the bottom of the barrel. Oh, I was kind of experimenting with things, that's why there's a giant hole here. But if we just take this, place it like that so that the top of it is actually facing down we see this cool looking texture now this texture is amazing because one you maintain the functionality of the barrel and two it looks way better than any of the any of the other textures that the barrel provides now for our little vanity setup we're just going to go down didn't have to go all the way down there and do that again now in order to do this Item frames just like that. We're gonna take this map here that I was using before, this white one, and we just boop, 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 and boop. Just like that, we have a little vanity set up. Now you can go ahead if you wanted to. I would not recommend it in this case. Like I've mentioned a million times now, the flow of the room would be completely ruined if I did that. Where are these suckers? Flower pot. Now I can just do that. Like that obviously you can't place it like this you have to go along the, along the wall like that we have a little flower pot going now that we've added the piece of furniture we have to decide whether or not it's worth it to keep you should do this with all furniture just look at the room compared to how it once was and decide if it's worth it to leave it there or to change it up um in my opinion i'm gonna keep it for a few reasons one because without that piece of furniture that side of the room would look kind of barren and two because it doesn't really like affect the room when you walk in when you walk in you still gravitate towards oops, you still gravitate towards the side of the room which is absolutely critical in room design now if we were in survival we'd also have a lot more barrel rooms to work with versus before which i mean it's kind of cool i guess although these map these maps oops do take a lot of materials to build obviously so they are kind of hard to do in survival now real quick i'd like to look at the final product in this fov which is 110 versus 90 so we're gonna lower it down to 90 personally i don't go below 90 really if we go to like 80 for example like for me at least it's kind of unplayable i can never play like this zoomed in i like having my my peripheral vision i guess so we're gonna set it up to 90 which already is more enclosed than 110 you kind of feel a bit more enclosed like it's a bit less ruby in the room um feels like you have less space if that makes any sense i don't know you guys probably see it too so versus 110 we just pop over here feels a bit more roomier a bit more open which is in my opinion more important you see a lot of time in modern designs that they go for like this open living this open floor plan like when you walk through like the front door you can see all the way back to like the back wall of the house this makes the house look larger and in my opinion, it's a lot nicer. So that's where a lot of modern home design is like um, gravitating towards. And in this case, having like an opener, like a more open room is on a small scale, kind of that same principle, which is kind of nice. Anyways, that's it for my basic guide to like the tips and tricks behind modern building in Minecraft. Hope you enjoyed this. Obviously, I am not an architect, but this is just from like my research that I did when I was actually like redesigning my room and just moving stuff around a, like a lot of these principles like the flow with the lighting the colors are all things that real architects use if I'm like completely wrong on this stuff and a real architect um pops onto this video they can call me out um in the comments obviously I'm not an architect but in my opinion that's like my basic principles to make things look good so if you enjoyed like comment subscribe if you want to see an another video like this just let me know in the comments see you guys in the next one goodbye <laughs>